With less than two weeks left in session, a bipartisan group of lawmakers called the House Problem Solvers Caucus came up with a last-minute bill that could stop nearly 12 million Americans from losing their unemployment benefits the day after Christmas. Well, we've been working on it for months. Um, you know, frankly, this is a bill that should have happened in the summer. Congressman Josh Harder out of Turlock was on the team of 25 Democrats and 25 Republicans that worked on this compromise. This effort uh, is not perfect. I'll be the first person to admit that. Uh, but would be the, the biggest disaster, the biggest risk is that we continue uh, to, to be more interested in pointing blame than in actually working together. But this is a bittersweet compromise for a grassroots advocacy group called ExtendPUA.org. Uh, we're di obviously disappointed to see the FPUC cut in half. Um, we think that the $600 was important, um, but we understand that that might not have bipartisan support. So I understand folks that say, well, 300 bucks uh, extra uh, isn't enough. I, I hear you. Uh, we need to make sure that we're helping people pay rent, put groceries uh, on the table, especially as the holiday season approaches. Uh, but what we can't have happen uh, is, is nothing. Stephanie Freed, co-director of ExtendPUA.org, is one of millions around the country surviving on pandemic unemployment assistance, one of two unemployment programs set to run out the day after Christmas. Another big thing we're disappointed about is that the the FPUC even being $300 isn't retroactive and people are behind. People haven't paid rent. 10 million people haven't paid rent. And so retroactive payments is completely necessary at this point, especially if we're not passing any stimulus checks. 